apply a breathing gear and enhance women on the outside, to ignite the inside, and help them achieve their dreams and goals. We're gonna talk about how to get more friends. I've had many adult clients say, but I don't have friends. Friends are work, friends are effort, Friends are a goal that we actually have to put our energy towards. I believe that in childhood, getting friends was super easy. You know, you just go up to some kid on a playground and say, hi, my name's Rena, what's your name? You know, do you like to play or do you like to draw or do you like to run around? And they're like, yeah, we have to do something similar as adults because we want to have that social circle. Yes, we have work with our family relationships, and yes, we put in effort with our romantic relationships. We are looking for deep social relationships, not those social relationships where we just show up at work together, we talk about work, everything is about work, and then when you go home, you don't even know if they have family, where they live, what their favorite things are, what their hobbies are, what they do on weekends. That's not a very deep social relationship. And I've had a lot of work relationships where we were really good and close while we worked together because that's what we talked about. But then when we one of us switched a job or was no longer working, that fell apart. I also had a lot of friends that were moms. So as my kids were growing up, we had everything in common. We were going to soccer together. We were showing up at the same school events. But then after that phase was over, again, you know, our kids were older, they were driving themselves, we didn't see each other as much, so the relationship did not maintain. I will tell you that keeping those relationships, you know, you have to have something in common outside of work or in common outside of the charity you volunteer for. You wanna develop mutual interests besides just we have young kids and we're doing life together with these young kids. Relationships take time. We want to invest the time so we have these friends. And when we need the friends, they're there. What are some of the attributes that we are looking for in friends? We want someone that we can ask for help. So someone that's reliable, that's going to be there. If we need help, we can get it. I have so many great moms that two or three that I'm still friends with. If my kids needed to be picked up or if I was running late, I could actually ask for help. Another thing is we want someone that gives us valuable advice. Someone that maybe is a peer that's going through the same things that we are and has a sound mind, has a sound emotional system and gives us good advice. I remember probably 25 years ago, my mentor was probably my age <laughs> and I was back in my late 20s and early 30s. She gave me advice and she gave me sound advice, but I was not ready to accept it. And I so wish that I had taken her foresight and her vision and taken her advice then because everything she said was right on. And I guess, you know, once you get older and older, you get wiser and wiser and you, we can see our mistakes that we made in our twenties and thirties and forties. And she had already had that perspective, whereas I was just entering into that perspective. But you know, who do you have that you trust their advice? Like their advice is actually good. We want people that give us attention when we call them, they want to talk to us. They want to socialize with us. They maybe want to go to concerts with us or want to go to movies with us. They have the financial means to go out for coffee or go out for a movie or go out on a girl's trip. Uh, they, have, they are not only emotionally stable, but they also have a little extra financially or are willing to work to get a little extra financially so they can have the extra fun. We also want people to you know, we just have things in common with common values. I just took a long drive with one of my coworkers who is also a friend. Yes, I know her daughter's name. Yes, I've met her mom. Yes, there are things outside of just work that I'm familiar with her with. We just took a long girls trip uh, where we were in the car for many, many hours together. And it was just nice because we made mutual agreements on what kind of music to listen to and where to stop for for food. And we just really had a good time supporting each other. And a lot of the things that she does are not kind of things that I do. And she has an upbringing that's totally different than mine, but we respect each other and we don't agree with everything, but we agree with each other in that part, in those part of our lives that actually matter. 
we had an awesome trip because there was mutual connection and there was give and take, plenty of compromise. I was grateful to have the super long trip because relationships are spelled T-I-M-E. And because we spent all that time in the car, we were able to connect on a deeper level and I was able to get to know her better. One of the biggest things as adults when we're working and managing our family and trying to pay the bills and God knows everything else that happens just by living life, taking the time to nourish the friendships, taking the time to initiate new friendships, taking the time to go to groups that have common interests so we can meet some new people is, is all effort. We want to have that friends group. I think proximity hugely helps friendship. If they live closer to you, it's a lot easier to build and maintain friendships. And I also think that's part of why, you know, having school in common or having work in common or having some kind of volunteer in common really helps. For me, I have a lot of friends at the gym. Now we do hang out sometimes outside of the gym, but why do I have friends at the gym? Because to me, exercise is not one of my strengths, but it makes a big difference when someone's like, I didn't see you in class last week. Where were you last Thursday? I even have a teacher that'll text me because <laughs> I usually take her class on Sundays and she's like, are you coming tomorrow? And just that little extra, oh my God, someone knows I'm not coming or someone knows I'm coming. Make I make the extra effort to show up at that class. So for me, having gym friends that I have basically developed in the last three or four years is so helpful because when I don't feel like showing up, they call and then I'm like, oh, I gotta show up. If you like this video, definitely click like and share it. If you'd like a copy of my free self-love journal, here's the QR code and you can download it for free. Thanks so much for watching and um, let me know in the comments what other kind of content you'd like to see.